Tres and Torres, 14,278 feet and 14,275 feet, respectively. A great way to bag two 14ers in one day. Our journey started with the 5 a.m. wake up call. We had driven up to the trailhead the night before and camped out in our cars. Our goal was to save on sleeping time by not making the drive in the morning and to give ourselves ample time to drive up the dreaded three mile road to the trailhead. The road is exactly as the all trail reviews state. A car with clearance is recommended and all wheel drive is helpful, but not necessary. We made it up in a front wheel drive CRV, but the wheels did spin in certain sections. That said, after a quick breakfast, it was time to hit the trail. We started our hike just as the sun was rising creating some beautiful views of the two peaks. The trail picked up an elevation around the two mile mark and the effects of high altitude really started to kick in. At the top of Gray's, we enjoyed a quick peanut butter jelly sandwich with apples on the side before starting our journey to Tori's. The last half mile to Tori's was extremely difficult and not shown here, but I had to stop what seemed like every eight steps to catch my breath. During the hike down, I got to appreciate the views a whole lot more. We got to say hello to a marmot, saw some fighter jets fly above, and heard the sounds of ice cracking on the mountains. Overall, Grays and Tories proved to be a very challenging hike, but at the end, we left with a great sense of accomplishment. Yeah, because it, you heard that, right? That just slipped. But it's fine. Like, I mean, this is just gonna take a long time, but we're gonna get up there.